document versus create. People aren't starting, they're just not making. They're thinking, they're pondering, they're strategizing, they're debating. A lot of people look at finished products. They look at LeBron today. They look at Kobe today. They look at Beyonce today. You know, the difference between understanding who you are versus who you wish you were. I mean, if you want to be respected and really known, show, show the fuck up. Enough listening, start doing shit. Don't be scared, and if you're scared, find somebody who's not scared, make them your partner. Like it's action, it's going, it's doing. And if you're passionate about something in your world, you can make a big difference. You've gotta pump out content. Wine Library TV worked, and Steve, I look like a hostage in Iraq. Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Wine Library TV. But here's where people that pump out content make a mistake. They care about the camera, and the lighting, and all that other horse crap. It means nothing. Everything I believe in was not possible five years ago. Anybody can get in the game and talk about the things they love the most, build a business around their passion. Hello everybody, this is Gary Vaynerchuk and this is my 120. Hey everybody, it's Gary Vaynerchuk, GaryVaynerchuk.com. I'm playing with airtime, not really, it's down right now. You know, that's the whole promise that we never believed before, which was do what you love. You always heard, do what you love, but you won't make as much money. You know, the game has changed. You know, we talk about all these products. Don't be scared to be multi-dimensional. You're not unfocused. You know, nobody in this world should define who you are. You can be so many things. You can crush it doing video blogging and you can crush it doing blogging. I mean, it just comes down to what are you good at? I think that's been turned on its head. Do what you love and you'll probably make more money than you could ever imagine. I think it's much smarter for you to talk to the world about your process of going through this than the advice that you should think you should be giving them. I think documenting your journey on Medium, your own personal blog, YouTube. The Ice Bucket Challenge. Bring it, Nate. I know you're gonna love this. Holy Whoa! SoundCloud, Anchor, you know, on and on and on. Snapchat, on and on and on. Hey guys, uh, I know I look like the emperor from uh, Star Wars right now, but I'm uh... Of you going through this journey, I mean, it would be really cool to have content right now about when Vera Wang started learning, like literally learning how to, how to create a dress, right? We are sitting where the gatekeepers are no longer in control. Guys, I was in my office in the dirty jurors, right? And I started taping Wine Library TV. One of the great things about Daily V is that D-Rock's around a whole lot and some things are obviously gonna be for the show but sometimes things come along that can stand alone and you need to be thinking about documenting more than you need to be thinking about creating. What do you think the appeal is of the Daily daily Show, Daily V? I think that I wish I documented all my truths to this level because all the people that think I was smart about Twitter, they don't even know how much. And I think this will do that. Why do people always say stick to wine? Stick to what you know, stick to science, stick, stick to cooking. Why do we always want other people to stick to? I don't want to stick to crap. You know what I want to stick to? I want to stick to what makes me happy and what I want to execute again. You know, that's what I want to do. You didn't think it was true that they were 15, 16 hours a day. You thought they were hyperbolized and they were eight or nine. You didn't realize every minute was something. You didn't realize that it's every day. I wish I did this seven years ago. I wish you got to see the last seven years. Every minute, every day, always. Forever. The world is changing, we're more connected, and your legacy, your maneuvering, your decision making process has to start at your long term legacy. Big picture always wins. If you're pumping out good shit, people will follow. But if you, for a second, a half a second, don't believe in what you're doing, whether it's your personal brand or the product you represent, you need to get out now. Always think of the big picture, the legacy. Who are you going to be viewed at when it's all said and done? If I actually, from where I started, go on to buy a $4 billion sports organization and I documented the entire journey, my words are motivating and I'm good at that. But the reason I do Daily V and the reason I'm documenting so much is if I can put out a body of work 40 years from now that showed the process of a young man that put in the work, had the vision, did it the right way, tried to help people along the way because he was trying to build the biggest building in town by building it, not by tearing everybody else's buildings down. And then I actually accomplish it. 
Well, that becomes a real, a real, a real great American dream story. And this is why I want to build a massive business because I want to teach the world that you can build a billion dollar empire on good. Like there's no reason, this, this, this unfortunate narrative that affected a lot of my friends of Steve Jobs, like it became the move to be a dick because you're gonna get the best work out of people. I'll tell you right now, I'm 40. So far, here's what I got for you. People work way better when you deploy honey than vinegar. I've gotten much better work out of people because they're guilted to let me down versus being scared of me. Get the fuck out of here. You should start a pillar show, whether it's, I mean, vlogging I think is very fascinating. You know, you should be doing Instagram stories and Snapchat stories at scale. You should be putting out seven to 25 pieces of content on both those platforms a day. A day. And let me explain how. Don't go fancy. Document versus create. It's a big, it's a big shift. When I say seven to 25, you say, my God, how do I produce seven to 25 meaningful things that will have me respected? Versus document. You gotta put out stuff. And you, and you gotta fabricate it. Like, when you're, like, I still can't believe how many people that live in New York don't use New York people. If I were you, and I had an hour right now, go in the fucking park right, right now, like, I don't know, like, go back to your basketball roots, stand outside the garden right there and be like, what do you think about the Knicks upcoming season? Yeah, interview four people, one person gets into a thoughtful conversation, he was the former ball boy in 1957, it's a nice story, and boom. You see where I'm going? People aren't starting. So you can't create, distribute. There's no excuse for not talking to the world, it just doesn't have to be your thoughts and words every time. My friends, the key to content success is you've gotta start documenting instead of creating. Let me tell you how to start.